for anyone watching this back in the video, I am live streaming on Twitter right now. So if I talk to myself, I'm not insane. Well, that I am, but that's not the reason. So but yeah, this has been sent in. I think it's a beep on beep off. Um, so I, I had some stuff from the school which I can't show on stream. Obviously, it's school equipment and stuff. So, um, but on top of that, he gave me this to work on. I think his mate gave it him. Um, apparently, he's got a beep on beep off. So. Yeah, let's see if we can figure it out. There's no light. Not the infamous beep on beep off. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, ho, yes. The infamous beep on beep off. It could be absolutely anything. It could be absolutely anything. So let's see what we work. It. Let's see what we're dealing with. So if you are watching back in the video, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications. Let's get let's get to a hundred k. So so my mom feels proud of me. She's not here to feel proud of me, but let's try anyway. How's that sound? Today's video is brought to you by my own online store. Whether you need HDMI ports or charging chips, you'll probably find it a console fix. We sell disk drives and power supplies. Just trust me, bro. I tell no lies. If you need stuff, just check the store, because I'll probably find one on my workshop floor. I've got parts to get you going, and I already know this ad. It's mind blowing. So get your wallet out. Don't be a dick. Just spend your money. A console fix. All right, I'll stop rhyming now. Console fix. Yeah, beep on beep off. It can be pretty much anything. A lot of the time, it's down to liquid damage around the RAM. I see. But we'll see. Right. Anyway, let's get one of the uh, X controls from consolefix.shop. I mean, did I just shill an online store? I don't usually. Sorry. I don't normally shill the online store console fix that shop. Wow, Jesus Christ. It's no wonder this don't work. It's no wonder he's died. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, there's my tea sorted. Uh, so I'm just going to give it a quick visual inspection first. Oh, well, no, I don't need to. I can already see what's causing this. Liquid damage around the ram, I see. There we go. Straight away. Got some of that green goodness there. So this I see here is... The TPS 51916. Funnily enough, you can buy these at consolefix.shop. But these ICs are responsible for supplying power to the RAM. Without it, it won't turn on. Ooh, lovely. Look at that corrosive, corrosive goodness. At least we've got no torn pads on this. There we go. Right. Let's have a look, Shell. Right, so let's just give this a scrape. Right, rule number one of, corro of uh, repair, never sold on top of corrosion. There we go. Right, let's visit consolefix.shop and let's get a TPS 51916, shall we? The good thing is, I live pretty close to consolefix.shop, so I get to uh, just go in and take what I want. <laughs> Sarah said I'm a twat. Oh, that steak, that steak smells nice. That steak smells nice. Oh. No, I don't want your steak. <laughs> it's 
stealing stock here. I oh, know I'm terrible, mate. Absolutely terrible. You know what, though? Security at consolefix.shop is absolutely shocking. But they just don't care. The staff just don't give a damn if these things get stolen. So I might as well take advantage of the situation, right? I'm just bothering it anyway. I'll put it back, honest. Oh, we're going to pay for it later. That's way out of focus, sorry. That's what everyone says once caught. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm a terrible person. I swear I can change. Please just give me one more chance. I'm not sorry for the crime, I'm sorry I got caught. What I think I need to do here, this trace now, because it's been burnt away, is way too thin. So I'm just going to blob it with some solder. I'll just make sure he's got enough trace to actually uh, carry the current because it'll um, it's a lot of resistance if it's too thin. liquid damage around this MOSFET area here. Couple of components going to need change in there. That car. And that car. And that resistor. sold on top of corrosion. There we go. Right, I'll grab some donor parts.
need a bit of flux. Rule number three, you can never have too much flux. Hey! Get back in. Damn thing thought it was performing in the circus. Hey. I'll reflow that in a second. There we go. Good stuff. Right, there's another spot what I want to check, which is fairly common. If the console's on when it's when you get the liquid damage, it tends to splatter it over there. And that is gonna be right here. No, that's fine. Cool. Hmm. It is still not turning on. Still not turning on. That is very strange because usually it will. That's not the perfect amount of thermal paste. You've been taught wrong, my friend. Right, let me check for some voltage rails then. 3.3 .3 volt. What is going on with my probes? That took a while to get to 3.3 .3 volt then. 3.3 .3 volt standby, that's better, just a connection issue. Yep, we got that, so I'm expecting to get 5 volts. Yeah. Do we get 1.8 volt standby? We do. A little bit high at 1.82 volt though. 1.1 uh, volt standby. Yes, we get that. Um, do we get 1.1 volt from the safe bridge? We do. Oh, hang on. Hmm, that is a RAM issue. That is a RAM issue, my friends. That five second on then off is a RAM issue. Right, so we've got some heat around the APU, which means the APU is receiving power. One of those RAM ICs is likely dead, but they are turning on, which... It's a little bit strange. See that? No, they're not. Hello. Two of them are not turning on. Three of them. Try and look. Is it that one that's gone? One of them two? It's almost like it's delayed, isn't it?
Hmm. But they should all fire up at the same time. And these two are not firing up at the same time as the other ones. Seems like one of them is not booting. Yeah, I would say this one. So what ram is this? It is SK Hynix. Okay. I need a donor board with SK Hynix RAM. So we've got some SK Hynix there. Let's take that one. There we go. So I'm going to move all this RAM and replace that one IC. Right, 0.45 mil and the solder balls of choice. Shouldn't take too long to do this. Pretty sure Jamie sent me a brand new stencil for these, but meh. Where is the fun in reboarding with stencils? I miss the good old days when we used to reboard absolutely everything by hand, regardless of whether we had a stencil or not. There you go. Knock my airflow down to 1%. Oi. Just move those two out of the way for a minute. Reflow it. Damn it. There you go. So, Ram IC numero 3. 
let's remove that. Actually, let's just double check and make sure I was looking at the right one first. Uh, numero three. Yeah, there's definitely an issue with some of that RAM there. Yeah, I've got a feeling it's actually number four. It is very consistent as well, isn't it? Like it's trying to start that one up. I've got a feeling it's number four, not number three. Well, then let's replace number four. One moment. One moment, I need flux. Yeah, got a feeling that number four is gonna be the culprit, not number three. Beautiful, nice and clean. There you go. Make the chip dance. And then you know it's sold it properly. It appears like he's not turning on. There's almost a delay as well. Hang on a minute. And that one. So there's like two RAM ICs. I wonder if that one's bad. Check the inductors that supply the power. Yeah, let's have a look. I doubt those are bad though. It's very, very rare inductors go bad. Oh, hello. Didn't see this. I didn't see that corrosion earlier on. Well, that would explain why the why that bank is acting weird, right? and your underwear after a curry. Damn. You must have some messed up curries. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's just grab some uh, replacement resistors. Shall we? Reflow that lot. Cool. Right, let's have a look around for any more. It looks okay. It's 
suppose I'm going to inspect all the rest of them now. I have a feeling these top ones are fine. Oh, hang on. No. The whole bunch of them there. How did I not spot any of this corrosion before? Yeah, I would say this board is on bug old time. I just want to fix it for the sake of fixing it. Definitely not economically viable to do all of this. Ah, well, I just lost another one. This is cat piss. This stinks. This is cat piss. I've got a feeling this is cat piss. It, it doesn't smell pleasant at all. Plus, the type of corrosion as well. If you look at the way it's corroded, it's almost got like a, like an acidic look, if that makes sense. Like... Cat pee, especially, is very, very acidic. I'll get the right resistors for the right place. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that one's gone. before how much people send in peed on consoles and I'll fall well and don't mention it. Uh, no, this one this one was given to someone by his friend. Um, so he wouldn't know. Right, I need to get a whole other donor board just to work up just to get that one resistor. anymore uh, might have corrosion under there We may have corrosion under one of them RAM ICs. Hmm. State of this, yeah. Stop putting lipstick on a pig. Ah, we love it. We love it. You know we do. Fixing for the sake of fixing, just because just we can sometimes, I think. Hey, now we're getting some life. Uh. Hmm, we're still not getting anything on some of these RAM chips though. Oh, 
I think this entire bank is screwed, to be honest. Yeah, we've got some on this side as well, yeah. Uh, so I don't know how the RAM works. Like, I don't know how it's wired up. We've got some, well, what I thought was corrosion on this side, so. But for all I know, it could be that. That one and that one are connected, that one and that one are connected, etc. Um, I don't actually know. So, what I'm going to do, these four here, I'm going to reflow them. And these four here, I'm going to reflow. Just in case we've got corrosion underneath it. Let's get rid of our thermal camera, sorry. So if we've got any corrosion under there, then reflowing it will push the corrosion out, clean it up and get it going. Uh, well, rejoin the connections, the contacts, rather than replacing the RAM. I'm not going to replace all the RAM, that's for sure. I do have a feeling that we have got a serious RAM issue going on here. I'm going to do it from over the top of the board. Might as well do it all at the same time. Move that IPA before we end up with a fire. Um, no, the power supply is fine, Dean. Um, the, the power supply wouldn't cause that kind of a uh, RAM symptom. Uh, it would just not fire up the RAM at all. Right, what's the dealio now? That's going to turn on. Or maybe not. Yeah, I think we've got a few dead RAM chips here. make sure that's not overheating because it is a bit warm nah no it's give up time on this unfortunately i've got a feeling that it's probably killed some of the ram to be honest because there was a lot of shorted lines on that ram ic on the ram power management ic and at the same time some of the RAM's not turning on. I'm not replacing that much RAM. It's not worth it. You'd be lucky to get £60 for one of these. Well, you'd, you'd get £60 for one of these, but honestly, they're just not worth it. It's just not worth um, continuing with it. If the, customer, if the customer wants an Xbox, I'll sell him a board. But it's not worth continuing. That is the unfortunate reality of last gen consoles. Oh well, it happens. Sometimes there's nothing you can do.